So if you guys saw the last video that I posted, I learned a new trick. That trick is the, uh, is the front side stall on coping to a fakey drop in. I just recently learned the trick, but already I'd like to give you guys a tutorial uh, because there's an idea that sometimes the best person to learn from is someone who's just learned it themselves because they still understand the, uh, the difficulties in learning it for the first time. So we're gonna start off just like my video, uh, getting comfortable with transitions where you're just riding up and down because the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get comfortable riding backwards down the transition because that's what you're gonna have to do once you're at the top. So it's better to get comfortable doing that. This right here is the transition I was practicing on in that video. That's the transition I've been practicing on a lot. So this is the one I'm the most comfortable with. So start with your most comfortable transition that you feel like you really understand, that you're not afraid of. And uh, that's the one to start with. Slowly build yourself up so you can go all the way to the top. Once you feel comfortable with that, try putting one foot on. One foot on the coping. So once you're comfortable going up and riding down backwards, next thing you're trying to do is again, just try to put your lead foot, when your feet are staggered, you wanna just put your lead foot over the top of the coping and then ride back down, get comfortable with that. Once you're comfortable with that and you feel like you're going up, um, you could put both feet up. That's what helmets are for, folks. <laughs> All right, let's take a That's my little spell. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go all the way up and come out the top just because I wanna feel myself getting all the way to the top. What I'm about to do isn't good for stalling because I have too much forward momentum. When you stall, you wanna keep your body weight into the ramp. Your, what was explained to me is if this right here is the, is the coping, you wanna kinda keep your chest behind the coping. If you put your chest forward, you're, not, you're gonna end up rolling out. But that's what I'm gonna do on purpose right now because I just wanna feel the transition again.
I gotta admit, I'm a little scared now. Should yeah. I just do it? Yeah. So it's just a matter of, again, the way I built up to it, ignore the fall part, didn't happen the other day. I got up till my wheel, till my front foot wheels were touching. I tipped my front foot over and kind of did a one footed stall and came back. Then when I felt comfortable doing that, I merely just put my other foot up there. And once you're standing up there, you have to commit to dropping back in. If I wanted to bail, I could lean forward and try to step out of it and roll forward, but when you're in that nice stable position, it's just a matter of dropping him backwards. Now, if I was up at the top, I wouldn't be able to drop him backwards yet. But once you are get comfortable riding up and you ride up and you put your feet on, you know dropping him backwards is just going right back where you came from and it makes it a lot easier. Um, it, at first, it seems scarier than jumping around and doing a 180, but that's a whole nother trick. That's adding a 180 after you got the stall. So my recommendation is to do what I did. Um, rather than trying to then land a second trick because you're scared to go in backwards, get comfortable going in backwards. Focus on just the stall part and then just come in backwards. Um, it's just like going up and riding back down, just with a little pause in the middle. Um, should I try it again? Two to make it true? Well, we did it. Step by step, new trick in the bag. Um, that makes about six times I've done that trick, so feeling pretty confident. Um, now I want to do the 180. Um, that's the next step. Do the 180 and come back in. What do you think, Miriam? We could do it, of course. Today or another time? Another time. I think we should rest your head. Okay. Well, Thank you guys for tuning in on that quick tutorial. As you can see, none of the other tutorials will show you falling on the trick because those guys are experts. That's the benefit of watching a beginner uh, teach you new tricks. Thank you guys again. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment uh, if you can, just because it helps. Take care.